In this module, we shall study risk management in Musharaka. Musharaka as a mode of financing is a risky proposition. Musharaka as a business may not be that risky. However, Musharaka, its use by Islamic Bank could be very, very risky. Musharaka is an excellent tool for doing business, especially when all the partners are engaged in the business. So, there are so many successful businesses which are actually partnerships. A good example of successful business in the form of partnership is most of the law firms in England and Wales. So, when you look at the full names of some of the law firms, they have at the end LLP, which means Limited Liability Partnership. Okay. And law firms, they are very, very successful. Similarly, a number of consultancy firms, they are actually organized as partnerships and they are very successful businesses. However, as a mode of finance, it has a number of risks inherent to it, like in case of Mudarba. We studied the risks associated with Mudarba or the risks inherent to Mudarba. Musharaka, however, is less risky as compared to Mudarba because it offers management rights to all the partners. In case of Mudarba, management rights are given to the business management party, not to the Rabbul Mal. In this case, in case of Musharaka, all the partners, they have rights to do business, rights to manage the business, and of course, they, they would have full information about the business as well. So, this makes Musharaka less risky as compared to a Mudarba based mode of financing. So, what are the risks involved in Musharaka? As a mode of finance, Musharaka may expose a bank to a number of risks, including loss of profit, loss of capital, and misuse of capital. And these are the three. Uh, uh, risks or three losses which we studied in case of Mudarba as well. However, the intensity of these may be less in case of Musharaka. So, all the risks inherent in Mudarba, they are there in Musharaka as well, namely loss of profit, loss of capital, and misuse of capital, especially when one of the parties decides to be a sleeping partner. Now, Musharaka allows a partner not to do business or not to be involved in business, but this is only an allowance. This is not a compulsion. In case of Mudarba, this is a compulsion that the party providing money cannot be involved in running of the business. In case of Musharaka, this is only an option. And if this option is exercised, then the risks associated with the Musharaka, they become very close to the risks associated with the Mudarba. So, let us look at these uh, three risks, loss of profit, loss of capital and misuse of capital. And you will see that the solutions to these risks are quite similar to the solutions we discussed in the context of Mudarba. So, in case of loss of profit, periodic reporting could be required. In case of loss of capital risk, a feasibility study can jointly be prepared by the partners and all the partners, especially the ones who are actively involved in the management, 
they should make sure that the business remains in accordance with what has been established in the feasibility study. And misuse of capital can be minimized by way of monitoring and audit. In case of loss of capital, active participation in management, which is a prerogative of all the partners, that could be an additional risk management tool. So, both in case of Mudarba and Musharaka, there are some inherent risk. In case of Mudarba, the incidence of risks is more as compared to Musharaka because in case of Musharaka, all the partners, they can be actively involved in management which is not the case in case of Mudaraba, which is an example of imbalance of management and control. 